Well, I'm at the Orange County Convention Center for Megacon. First time I've ever gone to this, so I uh, figured I'd bring you guys along. Well, this is the first for me for several reasons, one of which is I've never been in this convention center. I uh, just thought, I just uh, decided to do this about uh, two hours ago. Yay, pre-planning. Oh look, a thumbnail. Because I thought of it two hours ago, I didn't have tickets. But I saw online, it's uh, $5 more at the door, but there's a three and a half, like a three and change convenience fine uh, for buying it online. So I'm like, yeah, I'll just buy it there. Well, the lines aren't very long. That's good. Could be a lot worse. Hey, <laughs> whoa. Could be like that. Now I'm on the lo in the long line, because I got to the front of that line, found out that was for people who already purchased tickets in advance. Great, that was a great waste of time. All right, finally got the wristband. It's now almost an hour in, and I'm just now entering the <laughs> case. But first, I look at the Megacon exclusives. Wow, there's, there's, there's a lot of space that they're renting in this convention center that is just not being used. I mean, wow. Think about how much the cost per square foot is. Look at how much space is just open. Hmm. Must be like a minimum amount you can rent. Oh, look at that, the red carpet. All right. I, um, I've got this impression that this place sells, I don't know, um, uh, t-shirts. Wow, that's, that's quite the build there. Just, these are really nice, this detail. It's kind of like the stuff we've seen recently at Epcot. These are really impressive too. Look, actual comic books. Old looking comic books. All stuff Doctor Who. I haven't watched Doctor Who since they changed Doctors. I don't know if it's because of that or I just lost interest. But I grew up watching it with my dad, which is cool. The way that we make our controllers is we order everything directly from the manufacturer. From there, we have our own in-house tech department that does all of our own disassembly. It goes to airbrush, and then after that, to a three-stage automotive-grade clear coat, so nothing's going to scratch, fade, or wear. We don't do any mail-ins due to liability issues, but if someone wants to get a custom console or a one-of-one -one design for one of our controllers, all they have to do is email us at info at controllerchaos.com. All right. <laughs> These are pretty cool. These are really cool. The world of pop. So many pop characters. Or pop figures. Hey, a 15 minute call may save you 50%. Although when I tried giving getting a quote from Geico, it was twice as much as I was paying, so maybe not. But you could get a ridiculously large bag. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll get one on the, out, on the way out, but I don't want to carry that all the whole time. Dave School looks pretty cool, and you know, I, it, it would make sense that I would go to the Dave School, but hey, you know, I already, I've been Dave my whole life. I don't need to go to school. I already know how to be Dave. If you're looking for boxes, this is the place for boxes. I think that's all they sell is boxes. Seriously, I think that's all they sell is boxes. That's scarves. There's some artists. That's cool. Gaming in 2D. Cute. I like it. Video. Oh, sorry. That would that kind of got weird. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it just take. Ooh, let's see what Alex has. Alex has not here. Ooh, zombies. Ooh, 
Ooh, old school Batmobile, 1989 vintage. Still kind of cool. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Yeah, I can see these vehicles anytime I want at, at work. But it's still cool. And they're replicas. They're very, very impressive replicas. Well, I could use some water, but it uh, looks like I'm uh, out of luck here. What? What's, what's going on here? Some more artists? I think these are artists. Why would cosplay be consent? Is that interesting? This looks cool. It's really cool. All lit up. Oh yeah, DVDs. Remember those? One of the few well-lit places of this convention. It's kind of cool. Lots of figures. It's kind of dark in here, at least for the camera. You can see they have more lights that they could have on, turn on, but they don't. Bargain bin, I guess? This guy's got some nice theming here. It's pretty cool. Jewelry, jewelry, jewelry. You know what this place is? Your favorite t shirts. All I see is pop figures, but I guess there's t shirts. There they are. Wow, that's kind of annoying. And it doesn't show up well on camera. That's better. I'm thinking there's got to be at least one Kevin Smith jersey in there, right? Well, I guess I'd be wrong. I don't see any. These are pretty cool. <laughs> Layered, so... It's pretty cool. These are pretty cool. I haven't seen a Dalek in person in, uh, well, several decades, really. Oh, and K9. Haven't seen, <laughs> haven't seen that in a long time either. Except that those were the actually official you, screen used ones that I saw. But these are really amazing. Pretty impressive. Oh, there's a 3D printer. Oh, well, I'm 3D printer. Don't see them. I don't know if I've ever seen one actually working. It's uh, pretty pretty fast actually. Looks cool. Not practical, but looks cool. It's a nice little set. Hey, we've already seen this figure before, haven't we? There's a preview tonight. For if you bring if you came to Megacon, but you still have to pay to get into the museum. All right, a place that's actually open. I can get some overpriced water. Sweet. It's like they have a whole food court set up, but most of the things aren't open right now. I don't know why they wouldn't open on the first day. I mean, it is con is open. It's going. More Papa John's over here. This one looks like it's actually open. There's a few of them around here. This is the first I've found, found that's open. More food options. Luxury Japanese cuisine. That's weird. I don't think of food as luxury. But, uh, actually there's a lot of options here. Uh, well, maybe not a lot of options. There's a lot of repeating options. There's a lot of vendors and a lot of tables. 
That's the one. That one over there is boar head. Boar's head. Nathan's. So I guess some of them are open. Chocolate moonshine. Hmm, I don't know. It looks like some fudge to me. No, like seriously, fudge. It looks like fudge. I guess these are fudge fingers. Yeah. Okay. Holograms. Don't see holograms very often. Might not show up very well on on the camera, but they look. Uh, they have some depth depth to them. And you can see some of them change. Kind of nice. Of course, there's lots of glare on this one. And here's a cell phone store, in case you couldn't go to any of them there or you know, everywhere else. Lots of little figurines, Lego. In case I haven't shown any of Lego lately. Uh, yeah, I, I have no idea what this is. Ooh, look, a special event by Microsoft. I, I, okay. So, gift time. Cheerios, huh? I guess that's a laptop, but geez, look at the size of it. It's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, skip. I mean, there's some swag, but... Uh, wow, these glasses are nice. Yeah, I mean, I can, oh, I'm sorry. Know, and if we're doing the same shows... Some bottles. So all the people in the building, they don't know if they're going to Nice. Crazy, amazing detail here. And heads. And another head. Not the heads I was trying to record. Some autographs here, blown out. It's cool, I guess. More cool if you, you got the autograph yourself, I guess, but that's nice. Well, look, mad. Planetary Strike. What is it? Uh, I don't know. Game, I guess. Oh. Two red planets, two yellow planets. The objective is to land any vessel on an opponent's planet. Now I'm going to move my three first. Notice the pieces are all numbered. Oh, yes. Let's go ahead and move the two two times. I don't know if you can do it. I'll do it for you. You can't move more than a number located on a piece. Now, how many get them? Too far away. Anybody can move one space, so the two's going to capture the two by landing. The four's within range, so you can go one, two, three. You stop when you when you take the vessel out. Now the four's coming to get him. So, if you look at the board, the ones and threes are diagonal movers, and the board indicates how they move. So this guy's going to come one, two, three. Take out the one, and he's threatening the red planet. The black planet at back. It's got to be stopped. Introducing the Titan. This guy moves in all directions. Unlimited movement, but one color at a time. One's on black, one's on white space. It's like a white and black queen. So he's going to go back to black, get him, take him out, and save this planet. This guy's going to move his one one time because that's all the one could do. Very weak. Now the red's going to go ahead and take his turn. He's going to move his two two times. Uh, yellow's turn. Yellow's going to move the mighty Titan. Unlimited movement, all directions, but one color. If it starts on white, it lands on white. He can go right over black. He's got to stay in a white space. Bam. Taking out the one, threatening the white planet. Red's in trouble. Yellow's threatening him. But it's Red's turn, so he's going to take him out, tighten to tighten, take him out, white to white, got him, save his planet. Yellow's going to move his two one time. Anybody can move one because you don't have to move the full number up to the number, so he decided to move one. Red's turn. He's got a great move. Unlimited movement. Circle the board in one turn. But he's got to stay on one color. If he starts on white, he lands on white. He can go right over black. Bam. Game over. Whoever gets any vessel on one planet wins. Very simplistic. Easy to learn. Nice. You can play four and six player. Nice. So where's the booth for dogs? Mm -hmm. 
It's like the Pride Store at an arcade, without the arcade. Got some Luigi, some Sonics, Knuckles. Five Nights at Freddy's. That, but if that guy doesn't have a lot of money by now, he did something wrong. Need a helmet? They got helmets. Join our bucket giveaway. Give some ducats, maybe one bucket. Hey. Well, it's only a matter of time before he found someone selling Pocky. Uh, $3 each. bags, what's in it? Find out. Oh, well that just takes all the fun out of it. Now those are some large dice. And if you play Yahtzee with this, your neighbor might complain. And lots of other dice. I've got a feeling this booth is geared towards guys. Just guessing. Gaming time! Specifically, of course, board games. Cool. So that's day one of Megacon Orlando. I have to go to a party, so I will probably be back tomorrow for, well, yeah, that's, that's right. Day two of Megacon Orlando. Well, I'm back. Day two of Megacon Orlando. Now with 100% more Brian. W Hall before, and now we see W Hall after. M maybe not. It's just a stupid joke. I'm playing Don't Call It Plinko. I am playing Plinko, so I'm going to go over the eye. Well, that's fast. Sunglasses! Alright, sunglasses! Sweet. Oop, almost dropped it, but then I didn't. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Because uh -huh. it's memory memory challenge. Snack time for the low price of four dollars and seventy-five cents. I got this not at all huge cup of average ice cream. All right. Hmm. I bought pops here. I wonder how much. Oh, ten dollars a pop. <laughs> that one's kind of cute. Oh, they're little sort of breakout rooms. You might remember this from my Artagon video. This is one of the stores that were forced to be closed. That's interesting. More Legos. I wouldn't trust that train, it's an Amtrak. This reminds me a little bit of what we saw at Otronicon. Except without the laser guns, it's the... Uh, it's these. Looks like a panel that's going to be at some point, but I don't see any information out here as to who or what. See, now this one has a schedule. And it continues on the second level. Looks like something exciting is going to happen here. Not sure what. There's another schedule. They really do use this whole place. Except for the, you know, all the dead space I showed you before. But there's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Wow, there's so much here too. There's another ambiguous room. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what's going on in here, so... Up here, these are just some gaming rooms. 
pretty cool. So panel. what we're gonna do, Donahue style for all you old people, or like Jerry Springer style, that's, everybody knows that, right? Oh, that's no, a little old too. To the point where she wants Q and A's, just raise your hand, I'll do this. And if someone's like, if I don't... Oh look, it looks like Tusum. This is all about steampunk. Shot so much stuff, my card's about to run out of space. Well, Brian, what are we doing here? I think I'm going to buy a t-shirt. Where, where are you going to find a t-shirt in here? Oh, uh, well, I'm just going to look around. Maybe I'll find something. That's Good luck with that. <laughs> I know what I'm going to do. What are you going to do, Dave? I'm going to change the battery because it's flashing. What's up with that film? Killer Clown was from... Outer Space. Oh. Which is a very awesome 80s horror movie. And it's about clowns. They're aliens, they come down from outer space. And they hug everyone. Sort of. They hug everyone in cotton candy. Oh, so you're very sweet. See, this is a good place for an interview because all these shirts muffle the sound and it's slightly quieter in here. Oh, now I have a decision. Do I want the actual movie poster or the uh, pretty awesome with all the comments? And look, it's a shirt. It's a t-shirt. Whoa. Really nothing here though, just that giant. Post. So, something Brian's ever seen. Jurassic Park vehicles. <laughs> Except for like, you know, every time he goes to work. But this is a... Um, it is kind of eerie to see this, considering I've spent many times in Jurassic Park, the island, Universal, and uh, seeing the same things, but... Uh, Those are actually screen use ones that we have, I believe. Yeah. But these are very impressive. Yeah. I, I thought they were screen use, actually. Everyone loves that, remembers that scene in Jurassic Park with zombies, right? No? <laughs> so we're wrapping up. It's Friday at MegaCon. Day two. Uh, day two at a full work. Whoa. But uh, I'm not going to make it back, I don't think. Um, it's expensive. Yeah. I, I, I should have bought the four day pass, but I think what I'm going to do next year is I'm going to plan for this. I didn't really plan for this this year. And I'll, I'll get like the whole four days and everything. But this is very cool. I've never been at a convention of this magnitude. Um, they've got some really good celebrities. The merch room was gigantic. Uh, I think I've seen main panel rooms that fit inside of that merch room. So uh, this is very cool. It's in Orlando. And um, I had fun. Uh, I, li I like looking at all the cosplayers and seeing all the different things. Um, got recognized by a few people. Uh, so a couple of my coworkers are here. Um, so it's really cool. And I ended up buying something. We already, we already saw it. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. And uh, next year he's coming back as a uh, Ghostbuster. Right. Possibly. Yeah, we'll, I mean, we'll see. Uh, uh, some obscure character. He's going to go as this character. Yeah, why not? He's going to cosplay as this character and he's going to pee on the floor just like that one did. <laughs> and sit in the puddle of pee. <laughs> so. But, um, so if you live anywhere near Central Florida or you just like going to conventions, check out MegaCon. It's my first year coming here, but it looks like it's ran superbly. I've been to a few conventions where things aren't really run that well. I mean, it, it, it works, but... I mean, like, look, you can see the mystery machine with Scarecrow, and that's that's awesome. So, if you like conventions or anime or sci-fi or whatever, you know, come check it out. Thanks for the car, Mr. Jobs. We're here at the Wax Museum with another wax figure. Oh, because we figured we can't leave the comic convention without seeing the new. DC superhero area, so let's go see it. All right, here we go. Deep 
Let's see. Oh, they took the neon. Oh, no, it's over there. Looks cooler. Pretty cool. All right, Brian, so what do you think about the uh, new expansion to the wax museum here? This is pretty great. Uh, I mean, we got really great comic book figures, and uh, Superman actually articulates over there. But yeah, this is really cool. It's, it's very interactive. There's like little things for you to do, and uh, you can activate all of these. So yeah, this is, this is really cool. If you, uh, you should come down here and check this out. So that's our video from Comic Comic. Uh, so that's our video. Thanks for watching this video all the way through, and please visit the gift shop.